Yo, what is up guys? So for today, uh, obviously this video is going to be a little bit different because uh, you can, can see my face. Uh, I'm currently streaming on YouTube. Uh, this is my second day streaming. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys came by the stream, whatever, it would be really cool. But let's talk about the TWAB. So this week at Bungie, this week uh, we started splicing. Season of the Splicer went live this week. Killer Robots channeled their inner Mr. Burns and blotted the sun, blotted out the sun. Over the last city, <clears throat> Now, Guardians are stepping on Power Gloves and teaming up with Techmaster Elixni to fight in the shade. It's tales as old as time. We had some honeydew er errors earlier on, uh, but our team of experts buckled down to commune with our servers and fix the issues so you could get back on plane. Our deepest apologies to anyone who had their gameplay delayed. Check out... Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So, hack and slash. This season was... A this season has ushered in new additions to your person to your arsenal. Motherfuck, why am I a fucking idiot? This season has ushered in new additions to your arsenal from seasonal rewards, post game gambit, crucible vanguard drops, and more. We gave you a sneak peek at these last week, so go check them out if you want to look at them. Uh, look at what awaits you in game. We've also added a series of returning future war cult weapons loaded up with new roles as well as some classic specific swords to slice and dice and splice question mark your way to victory all of these weapons are available for free to play players and drop from multiple world drop loops or world loop pool drops iron sharpens iron next week the first iron banner of the season of the splicer goes live lord saladin will be back at the tower with bounties and slew of pinnacle rewards find him up on the top level make sure you grab the quest he is offering as well we enable the heavy weapon step and based on player f we re-enabled the heavy weapon step and based on player feedback have made it much easier to complete it only requires three machine gun kills now to finish should be should be easy all right so these are the weapons uh <clears throat> these two weapons are really cool because uh Elixni actually made this. These two. They're Elixni uh, weapons, or at least uh, Elixni helped make them or something like that. It's really cool. The, the, the lore behind them are really fucking cool too, so I highly suggest you read those if you haven't. Cuteness, Ikora and Mithrax uh, have big... The, it's it's a fucking stuffy for, for the Vex babies. And that's it, apparently. There's a bunch of issues, though, apparently. Wait, Mortal Kombat. Let me see. Since Season of the Splicer launched, some players have been unable to access Destiny and experience crash when attempting to log in. We issued a fix for this early today in Hotfix 3.2.0.0. This patch is also addressed. This patch also addressed an issue that has allowed some players to access crossplay early. Armor synthesis. It better be good, dude. With players now able to turn their armor into universal ornaments, we'd like to clarify how and why some armor doesn't appear unlocked in the armor customization area. Armor won't show up if a player is wearing that armor. Some armor sets were purposely combined into one set to reduce players accidentally overspending their tokens for duplicate armor. Examples include Gambit Prime armors. Anyone who unlocked a Gambit Prime set has access to the to the illicit basic Gambit Prime armor synthesis universal ornament. Leviathan Prestige class items. The Prestige class items from the Leviathan raid uses the same arrangements as the base version, but uses a different die to distinguish the two. So we reduce these two items into one item for armor synthesis. Did they? I don't remember that. Uh, Red War par Parade Armors. The legendary sets share ex appearances with the armor from the Red War introductory mission. Green and Blue Solstice Armor. The appearances of these armors are identical without support of the glows and were reduced to a single set. The green set also matches the Wrecked par Parade Armor, so it was reduced further. Purple Solstice Armor. <clears throat> As we announced last week, glows from 2018 and 2019 Solstice of Heroes are being worked on and will be implemented later this year for Legendary's armor only. Exotic Armor. Obviously, we, you knew that was not going to happen. And then Year 1 ar ar Armor Ornaments, we already knew was not going to happen until later on this year. Known Issues. While we continue investigating... 
The pre-stage activity is not rewarding pinnacles as intended. So it is going to give us pinnacles. I was wondering, I was like, that's weird. Like, I don't miss doing it, but I, an extra pr uh, pinnacle wouldn't be, I wouldn't say no to it. Deepstone Crypt no longer awards pinnacle gear, but lists that it does. Why doesn't it? Oh, because of the new raid? I don't agree with that. I feel like Deepstone Crypt is still like, for me, if you're going to do the seasonals, then the raid from the first one needs to be like pinnacle all the way until the next one. Uh... I don't know. I don't like that. Guardian Games Crown Holograms may remain on players' heads after the conclusion. Whatever. Various Guardian Games quests and bounties may remain. Whatever. Valorant, Glory, and Infamy ranks may not gain progress as expected when completing matches in their respective playlists. Players cannot use Wish Ender's perk Queen's Wrath when poisoned. Yeah, Deep Stone should definitely still give you pinnacles. I don't know why they did that. That's a stupid change. Um, I think their reasoning is because we're getting a new raid. New raid? We're getting uh, Vault of Glass. I'm, get I'm guessing they want to have pinnacles for that. So that way people don't get too many pinnacles. Maybe? I just... I don't know, man. I'm not about it. I'm not, I'm not about it. I'm not about that. Like... I think the expansion raid should always give you pinnacles without throughout the seasons and then like the next expansion go like that or just give us a raid or give us a consistent raid and I'm not talking about like seasonal I'm talking about like at least one of those seasons gives us a raid then at that point I wouldn't be that mad about it uh, tutorial for creating an ornament through armor synthesis does not play if a titan character is the first person first character to reach the step that's weird uh, 150 like <clears throat> yeah it's literally just stuff like just I'm this trap sucks dude <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this trap sucks donkey dick there's nothing really that is like, oh shit, like, okay. Nothing really interesting for me. Like. <coughs> I don't really care about this either. Like, whatever, art, if you're interested in that. Welcome to Season of the Splicer. We hope you are enjoying the new six-player offensive, new story, and all the sweet, sweet loot. We're just getting started and still have Vault of Glass, weekly expunge missions, and more coming. We've been super busy supporting the launch, but with the new Splicer tech, I've hacked my sleep schedule and found a bunch of extra pl playing time just lying there. So yeah, I'm loving season of s this season so far. Thanks for, for, for playing, and hopefully I'll see you out there. Yeah, dude, this, uh, this tribe sucks. I uh, don't there's nothing really of substance that they really showed us. Like, we already knew all this shit was here because half of everyone that couldn't log into the game went into light GG so they could see what guns we could get. Um, we already knew these weapons were coming. We already knew that Iron Banner was coming next week because it's part of the, whatchamacallit. Um, the fact that it, most of this tribe is mostly just, hey, buy our shit. Buy our shit. Like, that's literally it. Because then it's like, oh, hot fix, and then a bunch of stuff that you, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But me personally, this trap sucks. I expected at least something, like at least tell us, like, because the transmog is absolute dog shit. They need to tell us, like, what the fuck their thought process is on that because it's too much of a grind. And when I say too much of a grind, I mean like it's way too fucking much. I've already made a video on it, uh, explaining my thoughts on that. It's it's just ludicrous that we have to grind this hard for ornaments when we already have them. So, whatever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point. And remember, I'm streaming now, so I would love to see you in the streams. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.